Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back with another episode on the REI Network podcast. I'm actually traveling. This is my first podcast in the car. I could call it REI in your car. I think Joe's done that before. Um, And we're heading back. We've just been to Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, Me and Gabe were on our way back um, after just kind of looking at some flips. That's the second time that I've been to Birmingham. Uh, I've done a ton of deals there. Uh, We've been flipping. We actually closed one today. I was actually at the closing table for the first time. Um, which was pretty crazy on a, in one of my virtual markets. Um, and I met the buyer who bought this flip. We just sold a flip today for 300,000. Um, we netted somewhere in the range of, we're waiting for a couple of invoices, but it should be around 48 to probably 50, $2,000, something like that, um, after the money's been paid already, uh, closing, real fees, closing costs, we should be in that range, um, so that's really cool, uh, I think it took us about 12 weeks to do it, and we had a ton of problems, so don't want to make out that it was easy, uh, making around 50 grand on that flip, because we did overpay by 16000 with certain things that went on, uh, we had a contract, unfortunately, that uh, Um, got into a bad car accident and we'd already paid him and his crews for certain work and then we had to bring a new crew in anyway it led on it cost us about sixteen and a half thousand on on one flip and about four and a half thousand on the other Um, but anyway we still made good money so i'm happy we got about um 40 nearly forty thousand over asking just shy of that so that was really good and i met the buyer at the closing table today and he was amazed that while i didn't live in alabama we would managed to flip this thing as an investor um and uh, i'd never actually seen the house um and he was blown his mind was blown but obviously it comes down to great teams i had melissa there uh, who was running it on the ground um, but if you build the right teams then you can do it so on this episode i'm going to tell you a little bit about my day uh, but also i think what, what we really talked about today was, yeah, we talked about the flips and how cool and, and, and to be able to do these things, but it comes before that about the art of finding discounted properties, okay? Because if you can get in control of discounted properties, finding them off market, all right? And what is that? That's marketing. Number one in this business is marketing. You are a marketer and you're in the sales business. That's it. Marketing and sales. And then once you get control of a property, guess what? You pick your desired outcome. Do you want to flip it, wholesale it, buy and hold? Do you want to take it sub two? Do you want to do a lease option? Do you want to do a wrap, a owner finance? It doesn't matter because you have control of it. But still, you should all be doing offline marketing because if you're a great marketer, you will always make money in this business. And that's exactly what we did, right? Our our rule is, and I'm not saying we're 100% perfect. I talked about it on one of our flips today. Uh, This one we closed. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to take it on. The only reason that we did is because the market has demanded it. The market has gone up so much over the last five months that the numbers started to work, okay? We'd been working this lead for two years, two years, and we finally, I want to say seven months ago, gave the lead over to a realtor and said, hey, will you help this this gentleman? Will you list this house? See if you can bring in a a buyer and uh, just, we don't want anything. Just help him out. Anyway, they did, they bought a buyer in and last minute he couldn't close. And this guy who owns the house was devastated and it came back, the realtor bought it back and said, hey, look, like the, the, the buyer's just pulled out, we can't do it. He'd gone and bought a car or done something crazy and, uh, and, and couldn't close on the property. So we looked at it and we ummed and hard. And again, my rule is if I can't wholesale it, I don't buy it, right? And I stick by it, I stick by it. Well, I didn't stick by it, did I really? because I was like, the margin is tight, but I think we can do something. And um, it developed, we bought it. And the plan was, was to put 15,000 into it and sell it for, this. I think the buy price was 170. We we're just gonna try and put 15 in. And we're gonna sell it for like 235. That was the plan. Anyway, we did, we bought it. We started putting money in and then started to look at the area and it was going up and up. And we thought, well, if we put more money in, we can get more out. So obviously that's what happened. So we ended up putting about, I think 50 grand in, 50, 60K in, something like that. And um, we 
obviously put more in, took a lot longer, 12 weeks still, but managed to sell it for 300,000. Now this is the highest sold comp. Actually the appraisal came in, we listed this thing at uh, 257.50 or something. Uh, the appraisal came in at 310, I could not believe it. Um, we sold it, we accepted the offer at 300 grand um, at the time and um yeah we, we got the deal done but it's by far the highest comp in the area i think the closest one to it was 280 or 285 so everyone in the neighborhood absolutely loves us on that one so that was a great win um so but it all came down to finding that so how do we do it i know that's probably what you're thinking and it's not rocket science right it's being consistent pulling lists you all know i'm very much into uh, the cold calling um, I do a little bit of texting and I'm actually jumping back into a uh, direct mail as you probably are all aware texting is going to go away or it's going to get harder and harder we don't do too much of it uh, but we do we do some and um, I'm going to be looking at direct mail a little bit especially why uh, was be because we're flipping and we have bigger spreads so I can afford to spend a little more on on marketing if it's going to bring in deals. But my number one source still is cold calling. Um, out of I think all the the three flips we have on the go right now, and that's including the one we just sold. Two were from cold calling. One was a uh, we bought from a cash buyer. Um, it was a, one of our cash buyers that didn't want it. He likes to work high end, and uh, we we paid him a seven thousand wholesale fee. He's not a wholesaler. He just had a realtor that bought him the deal, and that's the one that's the second one that's going on the market next week we should make about 60k on that and that's uh, that's profit that's that's after paying money costs and, and closing realtors uh, and everything like that so um, so that's pretty cool uh, the third one that we're in the last house we did today I'm excited because uh, I, I, that one was uh, kind of a disaster still which is cool to see because now I really get a feel for the end product once it's done um, this one was another one in the 70,000 I think 72,000 it needs about 60,000 in work this one's gonna sell for about 250 so we got we should net about 100k on that uh, obviously anything can happen but it's so padded out it doesn't matter if it does go an extra 25k over if something does happen then the spreads there to allow it and the cool thing is like I don't mind I'm buying these I can show hoods that I actually own it my company owns it um, and and what we're doing and and that's not to, again it's not the the chess beater or anything like that but it's actually I'm very much in this business I love real estate I love investing from a virtual level and that's what's unique I'm going in these houses guys and we did a load of content so make sure you're following me on YouTube if you want to see this go to REI Network with Gavin Timms make sure you subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram as well at Gavin dot Tim's um, and Facebook just get on social because I'm going to be dropping them as they're ready and uh, it's it's pretty cool that I'm walking in these things I'm investing I've never even seen them and uh, it's because of the team right it's because of building the right team having the right partners um, and once you do that and everyone's everyone's kind of making money we've got crews that we send from property to property where we can kind of control the crew doesn't work for us but they literally work full-time on all of our projects so we're trying to keep them busy so it keeps our costs down uh, on that rehab so that helps with the speed I mean they're working um, last night they're working till 10 o'clock uh, they were there all they had five or six of them in one house today because they're trying to list this thing um, in in the uh, in on the market um, next next week so that's pretty awesome as well so we'll see how, see how that goes um, so yeah, I don't know uh, how long we've been going, Gabe. Okay, was okay. Um, so, in terms of the list, let me talk about that. So, all right, cool. So you shared like what you're doing, and, and these are some big wins, and hopefully some big motivation for you. But let's talk about the list. Like, well, okay, how are you getting these leads? So it's super simple. I pull lists. Uh, you can you can use Batch if you haven't already signed up. Go to BatchLeads.io slash Gavin. BatchLeads.io slash Gavin. You can get 5,000 property records there. You can skip trace them in Batch. Uh, make sure you remove the known litigators and the DNC and all that and get calling them, right? Get on the phone 
and start talking to potential sellers, tired landlords. The lists that you can pull, um, we pull all kinds of lists, depend on the market. We'll pull absentee owners. We will pull, so they're like tired landlords where they own a second house. Um, we'll pull vacants, we'll pull tax delinquent, code violation. We even pull um, owner occupied, right? Owner occupied still works well. Our biggest spreads actually come from owner occupied. Um, pulling that and then what else? What else? What other criteria do you need to know? Well, it depends on what type of your deal you're doing. If you're a wholesaler or you're a rehabber and you want to find discounted properties, then obviously you want to make sure that there's equity. A 40% to 100% equity plus unknown. Um, you could do a length of residence, maybe 10 plus years, knowing that they've owned it, so there might be some more pain there. You could do eight to 10 plus years, whatever. Uh, you might want to put a cap on it. If you're in a low end area and that's kind of where you're looking for deals and that's where the activity is and you're not doing high end properties, maybe you want to put a current home value up to 200,000 or 300 or depend on what your area is. You can do single family, multifamily, triplex, duplex, quads. Um, so that's kind of the criteria that you can pull with these lists and, uh, and go from there. Now, if you're on the creative side, then maybe you want to fish where there's less equity. Maybe you want to do from no zero equity to like 30% equity, right? Where less people are marketing. Um, again, especially on vacants. I mean, I would do everything vacant so you can get literally find the deal solve the problem remember we're in a, you, you're a kind of a property solutions company or business you're there to solve problems for the seller um, you, you don't want to be a one-trick pony but in my in my next breath I want you to also stay focused so focus on one thing if you're new whether that's cash offers or lease options whatever it is but you want to build multiple strategies as you go so you can literally say there's no lead going to get left behind all right so that's really really important so that's some criteria that you can kind of pull and once we get that data like i said you can skip trace it um and get it into like a cold call uh, software um batch of, has actually launched uh their all their own um a dialer now uh, which i'm looking at moving all of my agents over to um, i get actually a seven day free trial for you uh, and i'm trying to give you give this stuff away free because it is free for seven days right now there is a cost to it after that but get in get out test it uh, so all these resources are going to cost you little to no money uh, to at least test them go actually like this is a fantastic this is getting me more leads so if you want to try uh, batchdialer.com slash gavin you'll actually get seven days free so batchdialer.com slash gavin uh, sign up use it move your leads over to batch get calling in the dialer and, uh, and go from there but what i do is i actually get vas doing it from the philippines we hire them uh, train them uh, they're five dollars an hour they make our our outbound calls they pre-screen leads trying to get the four pillars on that conversation so looking at kind of the condition of the property right number one is condition number two is the price can they get a price out of the seller number three is the timeline and then number four is the situation and motivation if we can get hit you know hit some of them points it actually allows us to get a pre-screen lead into the system and then acquisition or you as the investor can get on that lead and understand kind of where wh what the situation is now I will say this especially with cold calling and outbound marketing is it doesn't matter if the if the seller wants too much money because they will why wouldn't they why wouldn't a seller want too much I don't care if they want too much money. I want to know why they're even here. Why do they even want to offer on their property? Why do they even give us this information? And why didn't they just say, no, I don't want to sell? Because guess what? That's what would normally happen. So everyone that says, no, I don't want to sell, that means, yeah, they don't want to sell. But the ones that want to sell, but they want too much money, it's your job of, of, of the sales cycle that of getting on the phone, asking the right questions, building the relationships, okay, and actually get into the core problem to see if you can solve the problem. Because if you can't, if there's no problem there, 
right? You're not going to be able to, they're not motivated. You can't do business with a non-motivated seller. They will become motivated or they are motivated, they're just not letting on. And time, time means everything. I've just told you about the three deals that we got. One was a referral, so a wholesale, but the other two, one was two years and one was 10 months on the two flips. So I didn't say they closed last week or they just came in, sorry, and we just got them within one phone call. The lady, the lady that we got a testimonial from on the last flip, 25 times on, on follow-up, 25 times in 10 months, and she said from her own mouth that we delivered everything that we said, we did not negotiate anything, we delivered on it, and we was we followed up and we checked in and we checked in she wasn't ever at any point wondering if we wanted to buy this property we were helping her and and that's what you want and when you see if you want to listen to this testimonial i'll get it to you and you'll be like yeah there's no way it doesn't matter if a diet mail hit it doesn't matter if one of your text messages or your calls hit there was no way she was going to sell that property to anyone else but us if you watch it you'll understand exactly kind of what i mean so building them relationships the reason i called rei network rei network right because it's all about networking that's how passionate i am about it because that is how i have created opportunity after opportunity from doing deals in maui uh, doing deals in florida doing deals in alabama in georgia i've done deals in louisiana dallas all over okay and it's only because of relationships and if you understand that the more relationships you can build and the better your networking is the easier it is to do deals and this is not just i'm not just talking about wholesalers or cash buyers i'm talking about everybody mortgage brokers okay attorneys title companies all of these people that will step in and help you out if you have them relationships. We've we've got really big into you know private money. We've been trying to raise private money for about four weeks, and we've just got uh, we should have locked up about two million from one person. If we want, we're not you know if we need to use it. Uh, we've just got another one on board today, um, who can fund within two hours. He's like he knows what we do. He's local to Alabama, um, and he gave us the go ahead look. We know the business you guys do. I'll fund it in two hours. Just let me know. And, and, and that's relationships, right? And that's what I want to do. I want to try and get about five million raised. Um, so as I need it, and um, I'm, I only invest personally with if it was like my own money. Like I bought the third flip and, and people like investors, uh, you know, they're probably listening to this and have done flips going, no, you should never use your own money. And I agree. You shouldn't use your own money. But you're going to tell me that I'm going to net a hundred grand. I mean, I'm, I think that's a pretty safe bet. I'm not. I'm not putting it on the stock market, right? And I'm hoping for the best. I'm not putting it in crypto and, and, and hoping it goes up. Uh, I'm putting it into real estate with a hundred grand spread net. And I'm thinking, all right, well, we could bulldoze this thing and rebuild it and still make money. So I think my money's pretty safe. So we closed that one pretty quick. Um, so I'm very calculated with that. And I am with the investors as well. So if anyone's listening here that wants to, you know, invest in what we're doing as well, then reach out. If you want to put your money somewhere and, uh, and you want to invest in anything, um, then get in touch. And uh, also... More importantly, we've just changed our, uh, our mentorship program and uh, I'm pretty passionate and excited about this. We, the whole layout is new. Um, my team's more involved. Um, we're, we're diving deep into case studies and the things that we're doing. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, calls most days. Last week we did five coaching calls last week. Uh, this week we've done four. Uh, we've been every day this week um, and it's been pretty amazing. Uh, we're, we're helping our clients. We're actually going to be you know, co-wholesaling co with them if they want. Um, we'll actually work leads with them and uh, it's pretty awesome. So we're trying to change the game. If you're interested in getting into kind of the, the culture that we're building and it's kind of no, we talk about no lead left behind. I'm talking about no client left behind, right? Um, everyone's gonna do deals. It's a six month program and it's gonna be what you need to get to that next level. 
um, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty pretty excited about it. My one-to-one -one, uh, people are in it, and uh, they're like, this format is game changer. So I don't think anyone is offering it. Anyone's doing anything like it. And again, I don't, I don't, I feel like I'm pitching because I kind of am. Um, but I'm going to be putting this out there because I'm passionate, and my, the feedback I'm getting uh, from clients and come and test it, come and see. And and here's the other thing, like uh, I'm gonna be doing, like if you sign up and within the first week, if you think that it's nonsense, I'll give you a seven day and, and you go, right, join us for a week. And if it's no good, I'll write you a check back out, no problem. But I think your investment that you put into what you're gonna get out is, 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 is crazy. So check it out. Uh, go to reinetwork.com slash join, network dot com slash join let's get on the phone at least have a conversation and um yeah i'm, I'm pretty excited about that so um make sure make sure you do that and we're going to teach you everything about wholesale i'm very active in the group answering all your questions and uh yeah it's pretty awesome so anyway we're driving back it's getting a little dark if you're watching me on youtube um and uh, Gabe's holding the camera here and his hands are shaking. So we better get done. I appreciate you all. Make sure you give us a like and subscribe. Hopefully uh, you got some good information from here. If you, anything I said uh, that you have questions on, put it in the comments. I will personally be in there answering them. And uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you. I'm going to be trying to get out more. Again, make sure you follow me on social media. And um, everyone have a, have a great rest of your day when you're listening to this. And let's have a, have a great year. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.